So you should remember parametric equations from unit 3. So for example, x squared plus y squared equals 1 is the Cartesian equation of a circle. But you can also express it using a parametric equation, x equals cos t and y equals sine t. You know the x and y coordinates using this other variable t. Uh, so we can do this more generally. A parametric equation is an equation of the form x equals f of t and y equals f of t. Now, what does this have to do with related rates? The change in y with respect to x is equal to dy dx. Oop, oop. And then what do we have left over with respect to t? The change in y with respect to t and the change in t with respect to x. So given I've just been talking about that circle, let's do an example using that circle. So to determine the rate of change of y with respect to x, of the parametric equation this, which you know is a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 1. All right, so we know that dy dx equals dy dx dt dt. Now, looking at this equation, the derivative of y with respect to t is equal to, the derivative of sine t is cos t, so y dash, or actually, let's use the right notation here. The derivative of y with respect to t is equal to cos t. Alright, so I can put that cos t in here. Now, this one here, uh, a little more confusing. Uh, we know that x equals cos t. So we know the derivative of x with respect to t is going to be equal to negative sine t. And we know that... Um, we don't want the derivative of x with respect to t. We want the derivative of t with respect to x. And, of course, that's just going to be the reciprocal. So, negative 1 over sine t. And so that's going to go here. And so now we have cos t times negative 1 over sine t. So, cos t over sine t. And, of course, that is equal... Or we've got... Sorry. I've lost my negative, haven't I? Negative. And of course, that's going to be equal to negative cot t. Negative cot t. Alright, so stop and think about what's happened here. We found the derivative of y with respect to x, we know, uh, but it's not with in terms of y or x, it's in terms of t which means that we've got an object rotating around a circle and at any given time t, we can find the rate at which y and x are changing. We can find the tangent to that circle at that given time. All right, so we'll do this example here as well so you can see sort of the context for why you would do something like this. For the parametric equation, we've got it here. Find the gradient of the tangent at point P, X, Y, on the curve in terms of the parameter T. So we're finding the gradient of a tangent, um, but it's going to be in terms of parameter T. So this is a good example. We're finding the gradient of the tangent to the curve. Uh, in other words, we're finding the rate of change of Y with respect to X, dy, dx, dt, dt, multiply them by each other. Now, let's look at this. The derivative of y with respect to t, it's sitting right here for us. Uh, y equals 32t, so the change in y with respect to t is just 32. Now, dt dx, we don't know dt dx, but we know that uh, dx dt, dx dt, will be equal to the derivative of that, which is 32t. Which, of course, means that dt dx is the reciprocal of that, 1 on 32t. Alright, now we put all of this together, 32 times 1 on 32t, what are we going to get? We're going to get 1 on t. So, the derivative of y with respect to x equals 1 on t. Now, you can use this because if I say find the gradient of the tangent at Point, and I give you a uh, specific parameter at point P, X, Y in terms of the parameter T when T equals 2, we can say that at 
t equals 2, for example, this is an example, this isn't answering this question, at t equals 2, the gradient of the tangent to this curve is going to be equal to dy dx equals 1 on 2. So this is a nice little use for that. You're finding the derivative using the parameter, not x or y.